First off, welcome to the 2022 Hanover Messi IBM booth where we're showcasing our no coding AI vision platform called Maximum Visual Inspection. What we're going to be looking at is an edge inspection run on an iPhone where we're looking at these connectors. These are more than connectors. We see these as two things in an assembly process that would come together. In this case, we're looking at these connectors. There's only one pass scenario and there's a million fail scenarios, something like this, where it's not fully seated. So as this comes down the line, you can see we're going to have a good one come by. It comes into frame. We'll see it come into frame. We'll snap the picture and then run the inspection. But what's really interesting for our manufacturing clients is simulating a technician on the floor. So let's say I'm a technician and I'm assembling these connectors. When something comes down into my station, I usually have a physical build sheet that I'm gonna come up and scan. So I scan my VIN number and then it populates onto MVI Mobile and says I'm expecting this next VIN to show up. As the next inspection comes into the line, it'll snap the inspection and come up with a failed result. Now later on, when I need to go and find what parts have failed, I can actually look it up by VIN number here. So we come into our data set on the training server and we search for that last VIN number. In this case, it was 23441. And we can search here. And we can see the parts that, or part that is related to that serial. So we can come in and see the last inspection that was ran. Another thing to note with this demo is that we're also connected to a PLC. What will be a failed inspection comes into the line here. We simulate what an operator might see coming from a PLC controller with this stack light turning red. And this can be anything from stopping the line to alerting a buzzer. Thank you for taking a look at our Hanover Messy connector inspection demo where we went through our no coding app AI application PLC integration, as well as MES integration for a simulated technician on the line. Welcome to our second inspection on the station where we're showcasing some of the object detection capabilities of MVI. Some of the things that we're going to be looking here is edge computing on a very cheap camera uh, from Amazon, about $40, and Twilio messaging protocol. But first, a big thanks to our friends over at Lenovo for giving us this edge computer that we've been running live. This is the Lenovo SE70. It's been doing all of our inspections in the booth and has been a wonderful compute power for us. So what we're showing on this cheap Topo Dome camera is these blue objects coming down into frame. So it'll notice any one of these blue objects, whether it be a strawberry, a boat, or a shopping cart, and, and run the inspection and tell us which one it's finding. Something that's that's resonating with clients here is that we're triggering off of this boat in a particular way. When we find this boat, it's actually going to send a text message to Ed over here at the booth simulating a, a problem on the assembly line that an operator may need to be informed of. So when we find something that's, that's wrong, in this case a boat, we could send a message via Twilio off to whoever needs to see it. Another message that we're finding resonates with clients is how we're training at the booth. We show people, you know, this, this is an easy to use software and then we put our money right where our mouth is. And we come in here, we have a data set and these images can be collected either from the camera itself or from a repository and then later moved in. But the idea is the same. We come in and we click on one of these images and we go to label objects, come in and we find this boat here so we have a number of objects that we can select from. You can just add these from the label. And then we just draw a box right over the boat. From there, we do that uh, 20 or 30 times per, uh, per object. And then we're ready to move into augmentation. From augmentation, we can select whatever we would see in a production setting or in a, in a setting where this model would be running. So it, these are moving, so we can select blur. We uh, can also select noise if there's uh, something going on with the camera. And then from there, you can see our data set of 77 is now at 1540. From there, once we have a sizable data set, after using augmentation, we go to train model. From here, you're going to see a number of the different model types that we support. Like I said, this one, we're doing object detection. And here we can select from any one of these models that we support natively or even use custom models. For now, we're going to use YOLO V3 and kick off this model to train. 
Another function natively supported that we like to talk about at the booth aside from training is gonna be the hyperparameters page. So when we come in and we have a model trained, we can select it and look at a number of different things to, to find out how good the model is running. So we obviously have the accuracy, we also have a precision recall and a number of other things that can, that can help a model builder figure out when a model's fully mature and ready to be deployed at the edge. This is a message that we're really seeing resonate well with clients after we tell them this is easy to use. In fact, let me show you how to train a model right at the booth. So thank you for being here for our Blue Objects Object Detection Story here at Hanover Messy. All right, welcome. We're at the Hanover Messy Conference where we are going to show off um, demonstrate maximal visual inspection edge uh, running on this uh, Siemens semantic box. It's a IPC 520A and we have a FLIR camera, an AX, uh, AX8 camera where <clears throat> the, um, the technology is actually looking for uh, the difference between two bottles that a human, a human can't really tell the difference of. One of the bottles is a cold bottle so that's a, that bottle is cold it doesn't, ha it doesn't have a heat to it. Um, and the other bottle actually has a uh, rather significant heat signature to it. So you can't tell it situations you might come across as, uh, on the assembly line where you might have a thermal element, a heater element where you want to turn the element on rather than waiting for it to heat up and touch it. Uh, you could apply a, a thermal imaging camera there. And then the AI inferencing can actually look at those pictures and figure out uh, if, the, if, the, if the seat's been turned down, if the, uh, if the rear and rear uh, heat's been turned down or not. Okay. All right, so as I've been talking, the conveyor belts are running around. Uh, the bottles have passed through the uh, thermal inspection. What you'll see here is with the uh, MBI EDS di dashboard demonstration uh, over the course of today. We have 670 total inspections, and uh, of those, 335 of them have been the hot bottles. So uh, let's drill down into that dashboard and see what those inspections look like. What you'll see here is uh, the bottles don't look that much different physically from the eye, from a thermal uh, image. You can see right here, it's a, there's a significant heat signature from one of them. What we did is we built an AI model that basically differentiate between a cold bottle and a hot bottle. And on the cold bottle, you'll see here we have an alert. So we've configured this to send a, uh, a Twilio message uh, to my phone so that whenever a, a hot bottle does turn uh, show up on the conveyor, we actually get a, an SMS message that says, hey, uh, you have a, a hot bottle there. Let's see, look at the cold bottle. The cold bottle is, is a bottle. It doesn't have any heat signature really to it. So you see that? And we've got a, it identifies this as a, as a cold bottle. Um, and that's a, you know, our demonstration we have for basically uh, thermal IP camera, MBI Edge running on a semantic uh, uh, Siemens box, um, automatic inspections. Uh, this camera is actually looking every two seconds, but whenever it sees an object of the bottle, it performs the inspections and figures out the differentiation of whether the bottle is hot or cold. Thank you very much.